If you've ever felt like your heart skipped a beat or jumped, you may have had a premature ventricular contraction or PVC. Many people experience PVCs at one time or another. PVCs are very common and usually don't mean that anything is wrong with your heart. Even so, it's important to talk with your healthcare provider if you feel like your heart is skipping beats, jumping, or having extra beats. Your heart has four chambers. The two smaller chambers on top are called atria, and the two large muscular chambers below are called ventricles. Blood returning from your body and lungs collects in your atria. The blood in your atria then flows into your ventricles between heartbeats. The right ventricle pumps blood to your lungs, and the left ventricle pumps oxygenated blood out to the rest of your body. Electrical signals travel through your heart, making it beat. These signals normally start in your right atrium and follow a certain pathway down to the ventricles. Sometimes signals come from an unusual spot in your heart, changing the pattern of your heartbeat. When one of these signals comes from your ventricle, it can cause an early heartbeat. This is a PVC. Your heart will usually pause briefly after the PVC, and the next beat is often stronger than usual. If you have a PVC, you may feel like your heart skipped a beat or had a sudden, stronger beat. PVC can have many causes. Most of them are harmless, but sometimes PVCs can be a sign of heart disease, injury, or anxiety, stimulants such as caffeine, certain medications, and thyroid problems can sometimes trigger PVCs. During a premature ventricular contraction or PVC, the heartbeat is initiated by the Purkinje fibers rather than the SA node. Given that a PVC occurs before a regular heartbeat, there is a pause before the next regular heartbeat. PVCs can occur in isolation or in repeated patterns. Two consecutive PVCs are termed doublets while three consecutive PVCs are named triplets. It is important to note that three or more consecutive PVCs are classified as ventricular tachycardia. One pathophysiological reason for the occurrence of PVCs is ectopic nodal automaticity. This suggests that ectopic pacemaker cells carry a subthreshold potential for firing. If the threshold is reached via the heart's electrical activity, an ectopic beat occurs. A second pathophysiologic explanation is re-entrant signaling. If one pathway of the Purkinje fibers is blocked and another path is experiencing slower conduction, this can trigger an ectopic beat on the post-block pathway. Some of the symptoms you might get with PVCs include skipped heartbeats, sudden strong heartbeats, and extra heartbeats. Not everyone who has PVCs notices them. During your exam, your healthcare provider will listen to your heart and take your pulse. The next step may be to get an electrocardiogram or ECG. Often, this test will be normal. Your healthcare provider may want a longer recording of your heart's electrical activity. This means you may need to wear a heart monitor for a day or more. You may also have an echocardiogram. An echocardiogram, which is often simply called an echo, is an ultrasound picture that looks at the size and structure of your heart. It's also used to see how well your heart pumps blood. Your healthcare provider may also recommend blood tests. These can provide clues about the cause of your symptoms and their treatment. Now let's have a look at ECG features of PVCs. Findings may include the following. First, there could be left ventricular hypertrophy. Next, active cardiac ischemia that is ST segment depression or elevation and or T wave inversion. In patients with previous MI, Q waves, or loss of R waves, there could be a bundle branch block, electrolyte abnormalities that is hyperacute T waves or QD prolongation. Lastly, drug effects can be seen like QRS widening in some cases. When compared with the next expected beat of the basic rhythm, PVCs may appear premature on the ECG. There is usually a full compensatory pause after the premature beat. A premature beat's RR interval is twice as long as its basic interval, indicating that the sinus node has not been reset by the ectopic beat. PVCs with identical morphologies on a tracing are called monomorphic or unifocal. 
PVCs demonstrating two or more different morphologies are referred to as multiform, pleomorphic, or polymorphic. Most PVCs don't need treatment. Often, they go away on their own. If you have any medical conditions that can cause PVCs, those will generally be treated. You might be told to avoid caffeine and other things that might trigger PVCs. If your symptoms are very bothersome, your healthcare provider may recommend treatment to stop your PVCs. Treatment may involve medications or heart procedures. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.